get checked out. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is Amy Janae. I'm out here walking some laps around the track, trying to get it together. Just to exercise all the time. Yeah, I got a fat face. Always, both my parents had fat faces, so that ain't going nowhere. So, today is a beautiful day, I must say. And then on top of all of that, um, ladies and men, please go get your breast checked. Yeah, some of us are scared to go in the doctor office and go get a breast mammogram, but please. And if you got family members that has breast cancer, like if your mother had it or your aunt on your dad's side or whatever, because my mother died with breast cancer. And it's probably going to be a part two, but I got a lot to say. Please go get your breast checked every year. And if you can, talk to your doctor about getting, the, um, getting checked for the breast cancer gene. I did it last year. Mine came back negative, but it came back positive for the colon cancer gene. So I have to go every year and get a colonoscopy. So I don't mind. I'd rather be safe than to be sorry. But don't be scared with going to get your breast checked. The uh, breast cancer gene test, you get your blood drawn and they send it off and they send it through the lab and it gets screened and checked for all different hereditary stuff but even though i don't have the gene i still get my breast checked every year so just in case because i found out my daddy's sister my aunt has some kind of breast cancer that's in her breast tissue behind her breast so please go get checked. Men, you can get breast cancer too. If y'all can't barely see me, it's okay. It's bright out here. But just take heed to everything and just go to the doctor. Uh, marketplace, you can get free health care um, because I did it. When I left my job, they gave me free health care and they paid for my hysterectomy as well. So please, there's no excuse not to go get checked. Please go get checked. And it's gonna be a part two. This is part one. Please, if you have any questions about it, please put it in the comment and I'll answer them. Okay, I'm back, part two. 96, no, 93. My mama was diagnosed with breast cancer. I still say it came from the domestic violence that she went through. I was 16 years old, December 13, 1997. She passed away at four o'clock AM. Never forget that day. Um, my daughter, when she was a teenager, she had a breast cancer scare because when they she always took my children to go get checked. I got a son and a daughter. So when I took her to go get checked, they doing breast exam on her and they found lumps, which scared the hell out of me. And I prayed and I prayed, but they said came, they didn't find anything in there. And they said maybe, it, you know, the caffeine that she was intaking was causing like lumps and stuff in her breast. Okay. Fast forward a few years, my cousin Sabrina found out she had breast cancer. She was probably through stage three, stage four. They did chemo treatments and everything, and she passed away. Now that really hurt me because that was my favorite cousin, and we we did a lot of stuff together. But she didn't want me to be there with her because she told her mother may she rest in peace as well that a lot of the stuff that she I she seen me go through with my mom having breast cancer she didn't want me to go through that with her 
So before she died, the last thing she said was tell Amy, I said, I'm sorry and I love her. I just didn't want her to suffer with me, which I get that. Fast forward to today, a, a cousin of mine, um, distant cousin of mine, same age as I am, maybe a year younger. I don't know. If she, yeah, she was same age as me. Um, died of breast cancer. Last year, she rang the bell. This year, came on aggressive. And it took her out, which is sad because she'd leave behind children, grandchildren, and a husband. And she hadn't been married that long. My heart breaks for the family. Facebook right now is so sad. Part three is coming up. Now, I really believe in, you know, getting some walking in, getting some exercise in. Because my body has really changed since I had um, this hysterectomy. I had December 23rd of last year. So my body has changed. I has lost I have lost more weight because my stomach used to be swole all the time. And now I got a fupa, y'all. Never had one until I used to be a lot to you now, I used to be 252 pounds. Yeah. Didn't know I got that big. I was married. I was happy cooking for my husband and my kids. Just having a good time. Then one day, went to the doctor, stepped on the scale. I was 252 pounds. and I had to make a change. So I started Herbalife. Started watching what I was eating. Changed my eating habits. Cutting out a lot of salt and sugar. And that's what I did now. Um, once I had my gallbladder taken out in 2019, I can no longer digest or process meat. So I don't. I don't eat meat anymore. I can eat seafood, but I mostly eat vegetables and some fruit. Now, all I have to do is incorporate exercise in it. And then I'm going to get to weight training to keep my body healthy. And getting it together because I'm bearing down to 50. 50. Yeah. I don't look it, but yeah. So, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, if anybody got some tips for me, this ain't the first rodeo I had stopped because I was having health issues. So, I'm going to get into the gym later. I'm trying to get every expat in my life, expat in my life uh, together because I was sick for a long time. Matter of fact, I was sick for three years. Believe it or not, I had a stroke October the 4th, 2019, when I had surgery. So, trying to get it together. I got side effects from that. So, yeah. So I got to get all of that myself back and get my strength back up. Nobody don't. I tell everybody I don't keep stuff about myself. So change what you do. Then I got a bad knee, so can't walk that fast. 